What is going on, Bull Nation? This is LazerBull coming at you with another video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys the fastest way to level up in Season 7. Now, a couple things have changed from prior seasons. And there is new forms and methods to actually leveling up. And there are other methods that are kind of commonly known. And I'm going to break down to you what I believe is the fastest way to level up and why you should take this route. And this season is very interesting because this season is the season that it's the season that we have the most majority of the skins that require a lot of XP to get different customizations for that specific skin like Linux and the other skins that are currently available. Now, before we dive full throttle into the topic, I do want to remind you guys that don't forget about the free V-Buck free skins that we do every single weekend. It's super easy for you guys to participate. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, drop a like on this video, and comment on every video we upload throughout the week, and let get your name entered into the weekly giveaway that we do every weekend on Sunday. Now, all you got to do is in the comment section, drop your uh, PSN ID, Epic ID, or xbox id and your name will be officially entered on top of that guys i do want to remind you if you happen to purchase anything at the store make sure you type in code gf laserbolt to show your boy some love and support because everything that comes in from there just goes straight back into you guys now there's been a lot of speculations on how to level up in season seven there's a lot of people that say oh you should play rumble rumble is the best way to actually level up some people say oh you should just play uh you know for placements you should play for wins we're gonna go exactly and i'm gonna break down and drill down everything that you're gonna need to know in order to level up like i said some things have changed and there's better methods to actually leveling up this time around but at the start of the video i'm gonna cover almost the methods that i'm pretty sure the majority of you guys who've been playing for uh, you know very frequently uh you might already know and then uh, later on throughout the video i'm gonna break down like the new methods that we have available so let's start off with these following uh simple things that we know so this season is the first season that we get multiple skins that have different sets of outfits or different sets of progression now in order for us to progress with these skins you're going to need XP. That's the only way you're going to be able to, you know, unlock these skins. So let's go ahead and take a look at these skins and see how much XP each skin uh, is required. So for Zenith, we have the following. We have a total of 350 thousand xp in order for you to unlock the complete skin now the other stuff are by completing challenges completely you know different stuff but the majority in order for you to unlock the whole entire skin you are going to need three hundred and fifty thousand uh, xp gain now for linux it's going to be a total of 325 it's a little bit less than the uh, senate skin it's twenty five thousand less but you're pretty much roughly going to be unlocking them simultaneously at the same time. Now, the question is, Laser, how many games will I need to play in order to unlock this skin? Or I guess the better question is, what tier will I need to be in order for me to unlock this skin? Well, I'm, I'm progressing that once you hit level 70 within the battle pass or the season pass, you, wish, you should have unlocked every single aspect of the skin. Now... How do you level up? Of course, number one suggestion is always buy the Battle Pass. Battle Pass is going to be your fastest route to level up as opposed to not buying the Battle Pass. That would be tip number one, but I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys already know that. But if you're new to the Fortnite and you haven't purchased the Battle Pass, highly recommend you buy the Battle Pass. Pretty much, if you don't spend any B-Bucks, you're going to be able to buy next season's Battle Pass without having to buy any other battle pass ever again the reason why it's so important to buy the battle pass is because once we progress through different tiers you're going to notice this uh 10 xp boost and as we go you know along you get another xp boost and xp boost so on as you progress through tiers now that what makes this effective is that if you notice on the bottom of screen of my character i have a plus 80 xp boost now this is a boost that not only do i have but if someone joins me I am also able to give them XP boost. Now, of course, the secret here is if you if I were to buy the whole 100 tiers and get to 100, uh, you know, all, all my tiers all the way to 100, then I would have 120 XP boost. Now, what that means is on top of that, if anybody joins me, I would be able to give them 40 percent more XP boost from the boost that they already have. So in retrospect, the best way to do this 
is to play with a lot of people that either have purchased the tier 100 skin or are pretty high up in the uh, battle pass and play with them of course you guys are like laser i already know that but that would be the most effective way to actually do the other steps that i'm going to talk about so you don't want to pair up with people who have a really high xp boost if you're a solo player i'm also going to give you guys tips on how to how to get that you know how to get that completed but in retrospect guys the best way to actually level up is definitely play with people who have a high xp boost now the question becomes is what is more important kills placements what game mode um, we're going to cover that a little bit shortly but another thing i want to talk to you guys about is completing challenges now i'm pretty sure like a lot of you guys are gonna be like laser we already know that but some people might not know that so there is two types of challenges available in the challenge system now we have the uh, grayed out challenge which is the one that's free for everybody everybody's able to do that challenge and then we have the battle pass challenges so the total of seven challenges if you have the battle pass once again like i said highly recommend you guys pick up the battle pass if you haven't saw already once you go ahead and complete every single challenge all seven of them you are going to be able to unlock 5k xp so you complete the first three free ones that's 5,000 xp gain that's going to be going into your account to level up so doing challenges is extremely important and it's something that you should definitely drill down in your head is i have to go and do my challenges if i don't do my challenges then I am going to be completely screwed out of the XP and I'm going to have a hard time actually getting this completed. Now, on top of the challenges, the weekly challenges, we have daily challenges. Now, the daily challenges, some of them are super easy. Some of them are like, eh, you know, I don't want to waste my time doing them. But I highly recommend, even if you're playing other games or you're playing Destiny, Call of Duty Blackout, or you're playing any other game, you always want to come back into Fortnite and take advantages of this XP gain. For example, we have two daily challenges right now here on my screen. I have the uh, Sniper Rifle Elimination Challenge and I have Play Matches Challenge. That's going to be a total of 1,000 XP gain in one complete day. So as you notice right here, right now, I am level 14. And if I were just to do the two daily challenges that would definitely put me up to level 15 and plus i will get five tier stars so it's actually leveling me up as we go which makes it pretty easy but the problem is once you get to a higher level you're going to be getting needing more xp as you go so doing your challenges and doing your daily challenges is going to be very beneficial to you guys in the leveling up system now let's talk about game modes guys because everybody has different ideas and uh, different concepts of the fastest way to level up of course we now have team rumble now team rumble is two large teams fight for victory Royale in action pad mode where the first team to get 100 eliminations wins now a lot of people say dude you should definitely play rumble because if you get a lot of kills you're gonna get like a thousand xp a thousand five hundred xp and that is the fastest way to level up now we have other people in the hand who say oh play duels play squads play solos that's the fastest route to go so i have played all these boats and i'm going to tell you guys exactly what is the best mode to play when you're playing this game the best mode to play when you're playing this is duels or squats and you're probably wondering laser what happened with team rumble i'm going to explain that in a little bit so team rumble uh that is primarily focused if you get a ton of kills the only way you're able to level up super fast in team rumble is if you actually get a lot of kills now for some of you guys it might be easy to get kills but for others it might be a little bit difficult to get kills now the good advantage with duels and squads is that you really don't have to play too much of it and i'm gonna explain why so i have done a lot of testing on this because i've had a lot of feedback with people saying oh this is works better this work doesn't work well so there's two ways of actually getting a lot of xp number one is placement the higher you place up when you're playing the mode the more xp you're going to gain for example if you're top 25 team you'll get a certain amount of xp if you're top 10 you'll get a certain amount of xp and if you're you know you win the game or you're in the top five you get a higher amount of xp now a lot of people would say Definitely placement is the fastest way to go, but that is not the case guys. I have done a couple of tests and I have come to the conclusion that the fastest way to level up is by not winning the game at all. And you're probably one like laser. You are tripping, but no boys. I am not. I'm going to tell you why. But let me break it down to you. If you play a match of two minutes and you get a total of two kills or you were to get a total of one to two kills, that's going to give you about a hundred 
40 to 150 XP. That's playing two minutes. If you if we add the loading time, which takes like a roughly a one minute and a half, that's gonna be three minutes equated into that match. Now, if you play a match where you place top 25, that's gonna give you a uh, time frame of about 10 to 12 minutes of you playing that match. If you include the loading time, that's gonna be about 15 minutes of you playing that uh, you know that match. That's gonna equate to about 400 XP gain. So you're probably wondering, all right, so we have two minutes, we have three minutes, and then we have the match that took me 15 minutes, and if we equate that uh, to the amount of XP gained, if I, if I were to divide that, if I were to divide the 15 minutes into the three minute match, that's gonna be, I'm gonna be able to play five matches. If I get 140 for every five matches, that's gonna give me roughly about 600 XP. If I compare that to the one single match that I played of 15 minutes of playing top high tier and getting the 400 XP, then I am losing less XP and losing more time by playing the match that takes me longer. Now, if I were to equate that to actually getting a, uh, a win, we're gonna take into account the following, that how long does it actually take for you to get a win? In order for you to get a win, it's gonna take you roughly between a good amount of 19 minutes to 22 minutes. If we were to add the loading time, which is about two to three minutes, that's gonna be a roughly 25 minute match, which would technically net you like about a thousand plus XP. Now you're probably wondering, uh, you know, it also depends on the amount of kills you're getting as well, but you're gonna be roughly getting a thousand plus, right? So a thousand plus on 25 minutes of game time. If we were to divide 25 into three, then that's gonna give me about roughly a good amount of like between nine and a half or something, or nine and a half games that I'm gonna be able to play of the three minute game uh, I do for just getting a good amount of kills. So if I were to multiply the nine, right? The nine plus the, uh, what's it, 140 XP that I got, then that's gonna give me roughly more XP than if I were to actually play a complete match and get the win. So overall in general guys, the fastest way that I have found in order for you to level up is to play two minute matches, get at least two kills in that two minutes, which should be relatively easy guys. All you do is land, even get, even if you were just to get one kill, get that kill, back out, play another game, get that kill, back out, play another game. If you do this repeatedly, it's more effective if you were to actually you know, do it this way than if you were to do it the other way, which is just play the match until you get a win. Now, of course, if you're playing duels, that's gonna be more effective because you would be playing with someone that's giving you XP boost. Both of you are getting the two kills. You Both of you are backing out and gaining that XP that way. So there you guys have it. That it right now is the fastest way to get it done. Now, for some reason, you guys have another suggestion on how to get faster XP and you think my method doesn't work, but you haven't tested, I highly recommend you guys test it out. Do the math. It's going to be by far the fastest way to level up this season. Let me know, guys, what level you guys are, what skin are you trying to unlock, and what do you guys think of Season 7. And don't forget, guys, for all things Fortnite, make sure you guys keep it locked on this channel, and I will catch you guys on the next video.